my friends so today I need your help but we're going to talk about how do you name a company I mean I've been uh, building my website for a long time and I'm just starting to think okay I need to get a name I don't know maybe the name I have is good but I want to show you how you can come up with ideas for a name of your company I'm going to do talk to show you kind of what I did how um how I'm finding uh, different ideas and and then what are the things you need to do uh, once you kind of come up with a name or you decide on a name what do you want to do to get to to make it official right because you can actually I'm not necessarily going to talk about incorporation and all those other things because it, it depends on the country but maybe I'll show you a few things uh how I how I can how I've done it and uh yeah so we're going to talk about all that and I need your help I actually have a bonus for you if you're able to help me if you give me some ideas uh we're we're gonna be giving away some prizes if you will and all you got to do is just watch this video or go to my blog depending on if you're listening to the audio you got to go to cis236.jsgangon.com and go check out the blog there to go watch the full video if you're listening to the audio all right so we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so what am I talking about okay first of all uh, we're talking about naming a company so that means finding the name for your company and then making sure that that domain that name doesn't exist making sure you can use that domain name and then maybe tying it to um, a product so if you if you're building something online right the, which is what I'm doing if you're building something online um, that you need to get a name for well you you can just name it whatever you want then get the domain whatever but and that's kind of I guess that's sort of what I did uh with click eCourse right I'm talking about click eCourse the the, the click eCourse website which does a lot more than courses but the thing is that I want to name it based on something that's that's catchy that makes sense that's related and that I can use as a a name for the business so how do you do that like if you're and we're not talking about like this is a course income secret episode of obviously so you know as a course income secret the secret is have the name that makes sense right you got to have a name that makes sense you got to have a name that people will remember and one of the names you got to have is your personal name right because you're doing personal branding so that's not what we're talking about here we're talking about a product that you're building that you're creating that you're making available online that you want people to remember right so there's branding involved there's there's what does the product do it's like you know when when you think about like I remember when I uh, incorporated a few of my companies in the past uh there was in Canada anyways there's this nuance uh, naming thing that you got to go through you got to make sure you get a, a nuance report I don't know other countries have similar things I imagine and the idea there is that you get that 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 report is something that lists for the person who's approving your name or not something something that lists names that that are similar to yours right like for example say you have I don't know um you have a construction company and you're going to name it uh Gagnon's um well not no because that's a I'm talking about when you don't have your name in it so let's say it's a uh, top-notch construction right well what if there's a top notcher construction or top notches construction right from a domain name perspective you could easily go and get that name because it's even if it's top notch and you want to call yours top notchers and construction right well when you try to incorporate the name they're going to come up they're going to get that name right top notch is same as top notcher or pretty close and and they're going to say well you got to have a differentiator in there or something right so you might have to add another word in there you can might have to say the top notcher um a laminate construction you know or roof construction or something specific to maybe that's more clear and, and there's reasons for that right I mean if if somebody looks up top-notch construction right for example they're going to be they're going to be like okay well that's that's great they're there it sounds like they're a good construction company from their name 
but I mean are they good at at plastering are they good at roof are they good at doors and windows are they good at floors are they good at at at, at driveways at cement like what kind of construction do they do it all and if they do it all you know how can they be top-notch at everything I guess it's possible but I'm just giving an example here of a construction company that would have you know a name that is very generic which is not always good and it's it's kind of how it used to be right in the past that's basically what people name their companies just based on their industry or based on you know a, a general thing that they do like for me I, I created click ecourse because click ecourse uh was kind of like I my idol is Russell Brunson click funnels and he had click funnels and I'm like you know what I'm gonna call something click something right so I did click ecourse click e-learn I got a I got a whole bunch of domains let me share my screen here and show you let's start from there see where I'm at maybe that'll help you to see how what uh you know how you can be there too so let's just share the desktop okay so this is this is my domain management portal right well it's probably reloading is it loading yeah it's loading gotta log in first and and the thing is that if you look here you can see I have a whole bunch of domains and one of the things I did is I did click v class um I did um click eTeach click eSite click eLearn click eCourse click eBlog and then I have other ones I have like um uh yeah I, I I had crypto stuff but online course dear online course index online course repo um uh then the rest is yeah TikTok stuff and then there's uh, online 12 step success so all these domains right I registered master of simple is part of it but it's not the company name it's just a domain that points to it um click ew is is for wordpress uh blogging and that's the thing so what I'm looking for is uh if I if I want to name the company something that's like like for example there's a new a new company that came out right now called uh groovy something right so they got groovy funnel groovy sales groovy this groovy that right and <laughs> that's kind of what I want to do I want to have some name right some name funnels and then the same name so let's say it's uh it's it's a uh, electric <laughs> electric funnels electric uh, uh uh pages electric <laughs> um courses electric um email electric uh word blog electric you know all the different things that are that are on the site so maybe first before before um before we even talk about how to figure that out right so well here's the thing so first you got to figure out a name so let's just go and just open up a new tab here and let's just go to I don't know let's just go you just type a uh, search let's actually put it in here I don't because I'm I remember if you type something in here so let's synonym for best I was actually searching for that earlier just for fun to see how that works so then that takes you of course to Google search and I'm just going to go directly to thesaurus.com <laughs> that's a good site to kind of get ideas of names right so over here you can see that you know there's all these names right you know non-parallel optimum optimum maybe optimum right so let's just say for example I say okay well optimum is optimum a good a good word to use I can click on that I can find another another idea peak superlative select most uh peerless perfect maximum matchless ideal highest you know flawless all those different names and the thing is that once you find the name the name that you want to use um you you want to and, and in my case I'm not even sure but the thing is that I need to have um I mean it could be top notch top notch let's do that let's for the fun of it let's just do that so now when let's say I want to call it top notch so let's just do I, I don't I, let's I go in domains add a domain yeah there's lots of other sites but on my site it's like this top notch uh funnels let's see if that's available so I do that top notch funnels no it's taken right so right away I know that even the very basic one I want to use funnels I need to and, and in my case it's a site uh, let's show you the the site because uh that's there okay so let's just stop this loading here 
and let's go to click ecourse I want to show you click ecourse so if you haven't seen the site basically it, it needs a lot of you know uh, look and feel improvement it needs a lot of stuff but one of the things is um what does it do right what is it there's and I I probably have to come up with a list of things let me write that down actually as I'm talking uh maybe I should uh, do it in actually I'll do it in the notepad let's go and create a new notepad so that I, I keep track of it here let's create a new text file and we'll just call it notes and we're just going to open it up and we have it right there on the side let's go here and let's do this okay so this is the features on the site right so if I go here I want to say I what are, what is it that I need right and this is kind of your process you got to kind of go through what are the things that make up for your company right there's companies are one thing you've got your personal brand you've got your company or whatever you're building and then you've got the products that your company is going to have maybe there's only one product right maybe there's only one product and that's you know definitely a good thing to do is to focus on a single product but for me um I've been I've been building a platform right so I what is what what is the platform so first of all the platform the platform is one product right it's one product but it's got features right S or or sub products or um, so in my case it's kind of like a oh and by the way I was talking in the beginning about a bonus or some something that you're going to get uh, by helping so if you here's here's the deal so okay what's the uh let's just uh, say first of all what what do I need help for right um I need name ideas uh so what's gonna so that's all I need I need name ideas so I want you to send me messages and the way that I need you to do that is uh, well first of all if you send me an idea you get so so what do you get what do you get for helping me right so number one uh, if you send me one or more ideas you'll get you'll get uh let's see well uh, so what I want to give you is 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 something that's uh, like lifetime value something that's going to be worth it for you to take some time to go and search and get ideas and but we first have to define what it is that we need right and we're going to talk about that for my company but that's going to be the same thing you need to do for yours you just reproduce what I'm doing right here with your company with your product with your what you're trying to accomplish and do it with you know other people or do a video like I'm doing or something right um and that's kind of how you can come up with this but for me what I'm going to do is let's just say I'm not sure yet what you're going to get but if you send me one or more ideas you're going to get this that I'm we're going to talk about what it is after and number two if you are in top five final choice final choices you'll get we don't know what you'll get for that and number three if your name idea is chosen you'll get okay so there's three prizes so the first one is just by sending me an idea you get that number two is if you're in the five final choices because what I'm going to do is I'm after I don't know maybe it's going to be a month I don't know how long a week or month how long I'm, we're going to do this but the top five have to be and and the thing is that to qualify for the top five you've got to do some more stuff so what do you need to do right uh I need name ideas okay so let's just say what do you need to do to participate okay so first number one you'll need well uh actually before we go into that we'll we'll talk about what the platform is right so okay so what is the platform so for me what it is it's number one let's just say one it's a course hosting platform 
right number two it's a social media platform number three it's it's um email uh responder platform well actually it's not a platform it's a it, it's a course hosting site right social media site email responder tool number four funnel builder tool number five affiliate program number six a membership site builder number seven it's a wordpress blog site wordpress okay what else what else what else does do we have okay let's go through the features that are here so we talk about viewing public pages and posts so that means because you can there's going to be pages um do I have that well I guess I got that in social media site uh social media site so there's uh there's there's um profiles there's page business pages and groups right so I mean and then of course so that's all the social media part of things so you as so this is the anonymous access as an as an anonymous an, <laughs> as an anonymous user somebody who doesn't have an account you can actually view public pages and post on them right now the pages feature is not com it's not completed it's not live yet but that's you'll be able to do that when it's there you'll be able to view public groups and post in groups as an anonymous for the public groups again groups are a feature that's in progress you can see public posts on the news feed so that's there already uh, you can see public comments on courses and lessons so whenever you're navigating the courses side of things you can actually see the comments that people left on uh, courses and on lessons and you can see public profiles so people that have decided to make their profile public you can actually go and look at them right so we can kind of uh, what else you can view free lesson free courses and lessons and you can buy courses right so what anonymous so let's just kind of talk about what that is to or maybe I don't know if I should spend because we're already 17 minutes in I'm not sure how much I should spend time on um kind of explaining this more but I, I think it's important for you to understand what the site is about so you can come up with ideas right so let's just kind of look at that so this stuff here let's just make that actually let's do this I'm going to take a screenshot of this because I want to I want to talk to it again so this is the features right here that we're going to show you right now and move that over to my other screen so I can kind of see it when I'm navigating okay so first of all uh let's actually resize this window let's take it out of the tab make it a separate tab move it over here so that you can see the whole screen and move that over to there there we go okay so that's the whole thing okay so first of all when you go to the site there's a feed right there's a feed right there that is like a social media feed you can see that that's what we talk about when I say you can see public uh comments on uh you can see public posts on news feed right so these are the public posts on the news feed in the news feed you're going to see people posting um Com content you're going to see courses getting created you can see people uh, setting their profile picture you're going to see new lessons added to courses you're going to see uh, people rating courses which we're not seeing right now but uh, you can rate courses you can comment like right here you can see this is a, a comment on this picture which was a test at the time um, and uh, anyway so as you can see and like, like this one here is a comment thanks for this course this was a test again watchman and okay so then the other thing you can do is you can see public profile so that means if you're on one of these you can mouse over it you can see their profile the person's profile that's a test account right there uh, this is my account right here so I can actually go and I can actually go to the about page and news feed the courses or the videos of this person the public things right so if I go to their news feed I click on news it takes me to that person's profile and their post on their page this is my page you can see that there's all these different things uh, that I posted I changed my profile picture loaded videos uh, there's all that stuff you can see on here right 
uh and then you can view courses and lessons so that means I can click on the courses tab here and I can see the courses that are on the site and I can see the free lessons so if I look at say if I show by price I can see the prices on there let's say I go to this free which one's a free one? this one here creating your first course is actually explains how to create a course on Click eCourse so you can actually access all that not even logging in you can see watch lesson for free you just click on the button to watch it and this will show you the actual video of the actual lesson it does include this little uh, intro video here this little robot guy I'll just skip over right there and then it plays the video itself so let's just give it a second here and there's the video right so all right this so this is the video uh this one here was how to register a free account right so this one was talking about that if I click on more it shows me the the some more info and I can uh mark done in next lesson I guess that probably should be changed because on anonymous you can't mark a course done right because they can't keep track of you right you can't uh you have to have an account to do that okay so that's that you can buy a course so if I'm in the courses then then the idea is that you want if you want to host a course on there you want people that are not logged in to be able to buy your course right you don't want to have to they don't you don't want them to have to create an account just to buy your course and uh, the site lets people do that so if I just go on this TikTok course which is a course that's that I sell and I'm not logged in what I'm going to get is this whatever the if there's a deal or anything like that on it uh I can just click on unlock course and then it just lets me buy it through PayPal and if I click on this it takes me to PayPal right loads it up in PayPal waiting for PayPal and once it's on PayPal it just uh, tells you to to buy this or whatever right so that's kind of how that works I'm just going to return to click eCourse so that's uh, the other thing can buy courses can view a few courses public see public comments see public posts and news feed and then the gr group and pages is a feature that's not uh, done yet so let's go back to the plans all right so that's the free account now when you when you sign up uh, anonymous sorry anonymous now the free account lets you do all these things uh on the free account even on the free account you don't have to pay anything to do any of this um you can create public pages and post to them once the pages are enabled you can create public private and secret groups that's again a feature that's being worked on you can access weekly trainings you can invite to friends to and record for a week so that's something that we haven't started yet because uh, we're still uh, we're still in the process of even building the, the the platform right but what we'll have is we'll have weekly trainings and you'll be able to access that the recording of that for for the next seven days until the next training right so as a free account you'll be able to access that you'll be able to create open access courses so that means a course that you basically create a course and you add lessons to it uh, from say uh, a, a YouTube video right uh, you can say once you have an account you can save the progress of your course so if you're watching a course as a student you will know where you are in the course right are you at the first lesson the fifth lesson are you even you know at minute five in the 20 minute video of lesson four right and it allows you to go to another um, device right to uh, to to watch the rest you can embed the videos from YouTube Facebook as lessons you can send private messages to other members so that's yeah you can comment on courses lessons and rate courses you can earn income by referring others to buy courses so you can actually promote somebody else's course and get a commission you can create upload and give away your own courses uh, you can hide profile from public view if you want of you, uh, as a free account well any of the accounts right and you can have your own blog site featuring a wordpress self-hosted and then you can earn income from selling your own courses as well right so you can do all that on the free account so let's just uh do another screenshot of that so I can kind of talk about all this let's go back to here all right so now uh, let's just see if there's anything that we want to cover more so create public pages uh public groups access weekly training create open access can save progress can embed videos save okay so private messages so if I'm in the feed and I'm well I'm not logged in so let's me log let me register a free account 
so I'm going to call it uh, cis23 is it 236 I believe 236 is it it is 236 so cis236 at fxos.com and so this is how you register by the way you just click on the register link and then you click the register button after you put your email and it'll actually send you an email at this address at your address and you can just activate it I'm just going to say I'm going to say okay I'm going to add this then I'm going to go to my gmail where's my gmail is over here it's going to be in here reload this gmail and then oh I didn't have to do that and just go get that email so you're going to get that email and let's just activate it right now if it can load up it's uh, taking over some of my cpu clicky course account activation right so you're going to get an email like this and it's going to say you or someone else requesting the account blah 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 with a link to activate it. you just click on that and now it activates the account right so successfully activated your account and your account is activated and you're logged in right so let's just move that over to the other to the other tab over here the other browser I have open this one here no that's not the right one this one there we go let's move this tab back over to the logged in one because I want it to be the same size okay so I'm logged in once you're logged in uh you can see the feed that's going to be different because the, you're a new person now you're not the anonymous user right so you see the feeds different we talk about you know blue green setup we see you see courses so now I can actually comment on messages that's what I'm saying here you can comment on courses lesson or news feed and rate courses so I'm going to go here I'm going to add a comment it's a pretty cool improvement so um okay let's say um this is this is a test account showing showing comments uh the I um the deploy used to cause a one to two minute downtime on the site with the blue green we now see a one to two second downtime right that's pretty impressive right that you can do that and this is a comment right here there's the comment right here and uh, you can actually edit the comment I don't know if that uh, I haven't uh, let's do that uh, see two second um it wasn't actually implemented until October 1st though as there were issues with WordPress hosting there we go so I'm going to save that so that I've updated the comment right uh whoops cancel and so as you can see the the okay so you can edit your comment you can also I don't know if you can delete it no not yet we can't do that yet okay but uh, we're going to be able to do that shortly and the other thing you can actually if you post let's say I've go to my own profile so does it talk I guess I, I should probably put that in there can post can hide yeah you can post to your own like if I go in here and I go to say my news feed I can create a post on my news feed so test post on my news feed right so here's what's going on I'm doing I'm doing a new episode and this is showing how to add a post to my own news feed go check it out at http cis236 jsgangle.com so I can actually make this a link actually I'll copy this make this whole line a link there you go submit and post now I'm seeing this in my newsfeed. if I go to the main sites feed 
I see that in the newsfeed it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that everybody else is going to see it because there's an algorithm and all that right but uh you can see right here that there's other people that posted stuff but this is me right this is my account that I just created right now and um you can set your own uh, profile picture so if I go here I can actually set my profile picture I go into my bio into my where's my profile profile right here uh, oh by the way if you're not sure where to find something you can just click on this and you can say for example picture uh profile is in here if I'm if I mouse over it you can see it pops up your basic profile such as your picture your first and last name and your display name okay you can also click on the question mark it'll pop up that same same information um and then I can just go anyways I'm already here so we'll just so now I just go in here I choose a file and let's just uh put let's just put this uh this SoundCloud profile pic right here this one here I'll just put that one there and I'll just save it so now you see it's a test account obviously and you can see that it's so test cis236 display name when I do that what happens now is I've set the display name and I've set my profile picture when I go back to the feed it'll show that new profile picture and the new name I have set up right okay so that's the feed what else is there earning income by referring others to buy courses so when I look at the courses oh actually before I do that you got to become an affiliate so do that by clicking on your profile going into affiliate and then you fill in everything that you need to um it says right here what's missing so you got to go to uh the basic and fill in all this stuff I'm going to put I'm going to put cis236 my first name is test and cis236 and this is my bio and that's it for here so now I go back to affiliate again which is still a tab it's also a tab up here what else is missing I got to go in the details page now and I got to fill in all this one two three main street in um, main, main one two three four five USA one two three one two three one two three four five obviously we're going to do some validation on this stuff at some point but right now we're not really uh worried about it um save there we go so now I have that the rest what else do I need to do so once you once you're an affiliate the time zone I got to set the time zone uh I'm in America Chicago it's not true because I said main right <laughs> and and under uh, affiliate now the only thing left here is I got to set the PayPal account so just I'm going to put my real PayPal account if you want to send me money that's where you send it um make my account public I also have to make it public and then I save it now now that everything's set now I can actually request to be an affiliate I can read these uh, rules of conduct or and uh, I have to read the terms of use right make sure that I agree with this right and then I say I request to be an affiliate and I have read them and then I save it okay so now once you're an affiliate you can do earn income by referring others to buy courses so if you go into courses or not that courses so if you go to courses right here the sites courses and you look at the prices let's say for example you can see that this one's uh, on sale this one's on sale uh, this one's on sale there are, most of them are on sale yeah and if I go to say for example the um the click e-course the TikTok master's course which is the one that I I I, I believe is really worth a really great course I can promote that course and I can actually get this commission on it for 50 percent commission right if I just click on this it copies it to my clipboard and then I can just actually go let's say I open up a I can send this link to somebody right I can just go new and convenient so I can send them this link right which is going to be cis236 because that's my user it could be it would be your username and then it just goes to that site and the the person now is cookie to you so that means that even if they don't buy it right now if they if they see it again and they don't use somebody else's link you get the commission still how do you know 
that you're going to get the commission if I go on register you can see that I was referred by this person right so you know that they if you if you're on the phone with them or something you say I want to make sure that you know I'm really going to be getting the commission um, you can tell them to go to register account before they buy that way you're sure that they're going to be cookie to you um so uh yeah so that's that's how you get uh, income from referring other courses now the other thing is you can also earn income by selling your own courses you can earn income by selling your own courses so that means you go in the you can actually go and create a course right you can say you can go to courses there's a link right there that says create a new course or just a big a green plus you can click on the course right here so you can create a course and then you can sell it whatever price you want we don't get we don't take any any fees off of whatever you sell the only thing is the paypal uh pro processing right so they'll charge a, some amount based on how the person pays but we don't take anything more you keep 100 percent of whatever's left um okay so that's that's the basics of the course side and the the free plan um oh the wordpress right so the wordpress the other thing is you also get a blog so if uh actually there's a there's actually a, a page for blog let's just go to the page for blog so you can actually get your own wordpress blog site right so when you create a free account on click eCourse, you can create your very own wordpress site and this is kind of what wordpress is all about and then you can create your own blog in five minutes by just going to account slash blog which is where we were a second ago and uh, over here it's filling in with some previously uh, entered stuff but basically uh cis 235 236 um cis 236 test blog name admin uh cis 36 and then you just click this button to activate it hopefully it works the yesterday I tried it or the other day I tried it there was a bug uh but yeah so that's that's how quickly you can create your own blog site it just takes about uh two three minutes to do it we're already at 36 minutes and we haven't even talked about what you get for helping me so we're gonna actually do that right now um we're not going to go and talk more about the rest but as you can see right here the blog is there it's created and oh and it's accessible and you can start to create pages on it and all that stuff right okay so that's that's that if we go back to the plans I'm just going to go really quickly to the rest so it we don't talk about any of the other stuff but there's lots of other things that exist on the site there's you can create email you can send emails to people you can organize uh, uh courses so that you can send emails to the list of people in your when you create a page or you create a group you can have them be notified whenever they post in the group and then of course there's all these analytics and everything else that you would expect to see where you can see how much people have used so like I said if I look at this we're going to have these kinds of things on in the site you're going to be able to create your own site you're going to be able to create a membership site you're going to be able, you're going to be able to create a website that only has courses that you created if you want you don't have to have a site that has other courses, but you can also have uh, other people's courses in your site that you can promote that you can sell through your site you can do um and that's a choice you make you can have ads and promotions there's I mean there's lots of stuff and so what I'm looking for okay so what do I need I need like I said a name an idea for a name so what am I gonna what are you gonna get if you send me an idea you'll get okay so here before we do that let's talk about the cost so as you can see right here um the commission you get uh when you're selling other people's courses is a percentage of a percentage of the commission so if the commission is 50 percent which say it's a hundred dollar course and you would normally get fifty dollars well you don't you get the 50 dollars if you're at the at the highest uh, you know plan right we want to make sure that you're interested and you're really working hard you need to get then maybe we'll update that you let me know if you think that that's fair or not um and uh yeah same thing with commission on membership payments so membership payments are from ten dollars a month to 150 <laughs> depending on the features as you can see through the list of features and so 
there's other things you know maximum lessons change the maximum courses you can create two to 150 courses number of membership sites one to 50 um Q priority for downloads is faster if you you pay the higher higher end uh, plan uh syndication videos oh that's another thing that uh needs to be in here so number eight is syndication engine so what does that mean the syndication engine is you create one piece of content and you you and the engine will take out of that the pieces you need for other platforms like for example if you do a like me I do a 30 minute or more video every day right well I can't share a 30 minute video on Instagram or on or on um LinkedIn or on uh Facebook right oh no Facebook you can't but I can't share that video in all the platforms so I want an audio out of there for iTunes and a short audio for Alexa feed I want a short video for LinkedIn and for Instagram uh, IGTV and I want a thumbnail for YouTube and I want a, a gif for my emails and I want you know some description text for my for my posts and I want all these things and those that all takes time to do and the syndication engine lets you create the as the main asset right the video and the, the text and then it it spits out all the pieces you need for all your platforms and I'm doing it to 20 platforms that's what I use I mean I'm doing it the syndication engine is being built it's not available yet but that's kind of what that is so that's another thing you're going to get from the site so you okay so if you like I was saying the price of the subscription right <clears throat> yearly subscription is uh, up to 150 bucks a month <clears throat> so if you send me an idea you get you get this is what you get you get six free months of uh what what do I call the plan I keep forgetting it's called extreme extreme plan you get six free months of extreme plan so that's that's worth uh 900 no is it 150 times six is that what it is I think so 150 times six yeah 900 bucks worth 900 bucks. 900 bucks okay if you are in the top five finalists <clears throat> if you're in the top five finalists you're going to get lifetime extreme plan okay that's like I don't know how to say what it's worth you know uh worth thousands right because it's thousands it's 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 uh 1800 a year right so that's lifetime paid for lifetime right uh if your name is chosen uh geez I don't know what what would you like what would you like well actually you know what let's this is what we'll do what if your name is chosen you'll get fame we will um <clears throat> we will uh mm, communicate or what's the word we will um let people know people know you are the chosen one with your bio and link in all our all posts about it right so whenever we talk about the name we're going to say it came from you and it's that's forever kind of promotion right and uh, so that's what you get on top of course of the 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 extreme plan for life um which is a part because you would be part of the top final choices right okay so what do you need to do to participate what are the things you need to do number one you'll need to register a free account okay so you got to go create an account I mean obviously we we need to get people on the platform need people to get to use it get to see how it works and we need feedback so without you getting an account there's not much use you need to register a free account now if you if you send me um one or more ideas and you don't register an account there's no way for me to give you the six free months right I have to have an account to be able to give you six free months so you got to register a free account number two 
you have to send your idea with a support ticket so basically what you do is you go to the site and you just go click on the big green plus right there and you say support obviously it's not a support issue but it's the same way so you can just say here so name idea for for your company name idea for company and then you say my suggestion would be <clears throat> top builder top builder funnels or whatever right so now the thing is um the other thing oh you know what before before you submit that you know what you need to do as well so number number actually let's make this number two you have to have researched the name and make sure the domain for x for name <clears throat> name funnels name courses name blog uh, name uh, what else uh, social maybe I don't know I don't know if it's social but anyways things like that right so name um affiliate or sales maybe so I mean at least you know a few of these things have to be and really they all they would all have to be for you to win but to submit it you and you must tell me so you have to send the idea with a support ticket stating the name and the domains whoops the domains that you checked right so you'd have to go say like this top builder funnels so I checked top builder funnels.com top builder courses.com top builder um what is it uh, email.com top builder funnels is there top builder uh, what else uh, syndication.com right so you gotta you gotta do that you gotta say that you did all that you just click on submit new ticket and then when you look at your uh support tickets it'll be in the list there so that's that's all you gotta do let's just uh, go back here <coughs> okay so you got to do that and saving the name to checked okay so that's oh that's number three right number not number two number three and uh send your idea with support tickets saving the name of the domain so that's yeah so that's basically what you do so and you know I don't know the names I don't know if it's going to be named social maybe it's maybe it's social media instead of social maybe it's but at the same time some of those we don't really need to have a dns name for it some of them we have to have um and I have to kind of figure out what parts are but that's part of the idea you have to be giving me ideas maybe you maybe you just check for funnels and courses and that's all we need and maybe you check for sales pages or pages or something right but I don't know because that's why I need your help and that's kind of one of the ways that you can come up with a name for your company is by searching for like I said synonyms right you use a place uh, like thesaurus.com and find synonyms for for a word that you want to use and then you um and then and then you just uh submit it to me and then you like I said you got to create your account you got to you got to uh, register a free account you'll have to research the names and you'll have to send the idea with support ticket on the site um so yeah so that's that's it all right hopefully you enjoyed this and I'm looking for lots of you to send me a suggestion and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com 
and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.